Today, we talk about... You know what it is, but... Do you know what it is? Let's get it. So we'll be back for those in a second, but uh, come with me, bruh. We gotta add some boys to the toys. That doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. So we gonna grab these. And we gonna grab those. Uh, is there any more potters? I don't believe so. All right, I just got it. So here we have essentially the entire Pada collection with Nike. So let's start with the, maybe the greatest of the bad boys right here. These were this original collaboration. And uh, I'm just gonna talk about them with this lovely view in our background, kind of. Not really, I just need this white table. Now these were part of the Capital series, uh, with this being Amsterdam, obviously, and uh, Paro was, uh, Piet Paro was, uh, you know, tasked with creating this, and initially he had designed one uh, after the famous uh, Dutch uh, grocery store chain, Albert Heijn, uh, which was more of like a Nix colorway almost. And personally, I, really don't find that colorway attractive. I find this way more beautiful. Before I even knew the history of the shoe, when I first saw images of this on Instagram, I was like, damn son, where'd you find this? And as I learned more and more about the shoe, I just fell more and more in love with it. And uh, because the grocery store chain changed their colors, they had to scrap that idea and go with this colorway, which is the red light district colorway, which I think is just a gorgeous use of burgundies and and uh, this uh, Violetish, pinkish, and blue bops of beautiful blue is just amazing, man. The quality on this is insane. The speckle is amazing. The air bubble is starting to fade a little bit, but it is what it is. Plus, what PAR has become synonymous with is this, uh, you know, these multicolored uh, outsole units, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Amsterdam on the tongue, and then you can see the uh, promiscuous lady with the um, sunburn or tattoo of a heart on the, uh, on the butt. And yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful constructed shoe. One of my all time grails. I was so happy to finally be able to find it in my size when I did. Uh, just an absolute, absolute monster of a classic. So that came first in August of 2005 with uh, only rumored 200 to 250 pairs made with a special edition uh, 25 or so family and friends pairs made where on the lateral side here it had Pada's uh, signature here, which we'll see shortly. So next up after these in 2010, we saw Pada collaborate with um, Pada, another famous uh, Dutch boutique uh, that's done a lot of incredible sneakers with uh, with Nike. And uh, in 2010, they revealed this after Pada had done, I think, four other collaborations, which were all slam dunks. I have one of them, my absolute favorite, maybe the best in the entire pack, the Chlorophylls, which I've done a separate video on. If you want to, actually, why don't I show you guys that real quick? If we can find them, let's go hunting. This is all Adidas, so not over here. But if we make our way, not Deodora, right there. Boom, right there. This beautiful corduroy with the mini swoosh there, the green air bubble. An amazing, amazing, and it has a pattern written on the on the tongue. Beautiful, beautiful sneaker. Let's go back. So after doing those four sneakers, he came back and did uh, the the kind of like the lasting touch on that shoe, which will, or the lasting touch on that entire pack, which was these bad boys, the Cherry Woods, as they've come to be known. And just this amazing material. I forget what this exact felty type material is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. You get that ode back to that um, Amsterdam pair with the bop of beautiful blue with the burgundy. This is just an absolute monster combination. And then again, the feltiness on the, uh, on the tongue there with the Para logo. And again, Para's uh, fame, infamous uh, artwork style, as you can see here, a lot of colors, which uh, really speaks to me personally. I love, I love uh, a lot of pops of color. You see that bop of blue on the inner uh, swoosh there. Lovely yellow detail as well on the gromlets or whatever. Beautiful blue again, and then the outsole. I was able to find these for a steal, in my opinion, at my size. I had mentioned it previously when I made a dedicated video on these, but again, you see that uh, classic, lovely multicolor uh, outsole there. So uh, yeah. Now fast forward from 20, 2005 to 2010 to now 2018, bop, here we go. So in one of these lovely boxes, came these bad boys. And I've done a dedicated unboxing video of these as well in the past, so feel free to search for that. A lovely ode back to uh, Para's inspiration of the Dutch landscape is what he described it as, even though, um, you know, from the description of the box, there's no real mountain ranges or this kind of landscape in 
uh, the Netherlands from what I remember reading, but it is what it is. Still a gorgeous shoe. Love, again, that classic outsole pattern. A beautiful use of materials here. You just never see these kind of combinations on shoes. And then that classic para signature that was on the friends and family pair of the Amsterdams back in uh, 2005. Everyone gets them in 2018 with this classic uh, uh, para. Air Max 1 Remix. Here you see Air Max 1 on the tongue. Love this candy cane-ishness to, uh, to the laces. Um, you see the mini swoosh and that lovely pink stitching on the uh, lateral side of this foot of the, uh, the left shoe. And uh, yeah, just a beautiful use of materials. White stitching details here, which is fantastic. Uh, and then a uh, pinkish, um, pinkish uh, air bubble unit and then a Nike Air on the inside. It was said that the uh, inspiration for this uh, piece, at least, was from the um, original Nike uh, Air Max 1 boxes, uh, which is what the uh, pattern was on those original boxes, which we saw them re-release when the anniversary pack came out uh, also last year, or was it two years ago now? I'm drawing a blank, but it is what it is. On this pair, you see the insole shows uh, more of that cityscape uh, blocking, but yeah, pretty, pretty dope. And then you get like the candy caneness on the inside here. I wonder if it's the same here. Yep, a little bit, a little bit. So there you go. Now, to complete this pack, uh, and I should specify, when I say complete, uh, I am nowhere near complete as far as every par collaboration ever made on a sneaker, because he did a numerous bunch of Vans collaborations, uh, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, were actually more sample pairs that weren't actually general releases. Uh, and also, he did a bunch of Adidas collaborations, none of which I have. Uh, very hard to find, to be honest with you. So, not sure how many of those numbers were made and who really was in tune to par at that time, but this is more just the Nike slash Converse, uh, which is now part of the Nike family, um, collaboration, which in my opinion are the best and most historic collaborations he's done as far as sneakers go. I just get it. So, speaking of friends and family, uh, I believe that's this pair. Yep. So, you see from this, and leaving these on this table for a quick second, if we are to revisit these. The special thing about these was these were friends and family pairs, so obviously a lot more expensive. You still get that para um, uh, signature. But the amazing thing about this, and I was so ready to just buy this pair when they, when they, first, released, uh, when they first released images of either of these. Uh, but the main reason I was so hell bent on getting these was the lack of a swoosh on these. I'd never seen that on an Air Max model before. And I've slowly but surely found out uh, that I'm pretty much a big Air Max One stand because they just look so good and they lend themselves to collaborations so well. And to just see an incredible sneaker silhouette not need the branding on the side is just an incredible, incredible touch. These in all blue outsole as opposed to these uh, multicolor ones, uh, which is fine. The material is so different. I don't know what the hell this is, but it's like, it's so incredible. Um, then you see this pattern, obviously very different uh, compared to this. They kind of swapped these. Why is this not focusing? Jesus! Uh, they swapped this part on the heel for this and then left this on the heel, same as this, which kind of correlates with this. Yep, still there. Uh, but now you get the gray on this part instead. So, And it looks like a very, very high quality tumbled leather for sure. You get the candy caning on this part as opposed to the, the uh, white mesh. This being a leather, a leather lining, of course, still the same cityscape, a lot more orange cues here as opposed to here. Uh, the, ta uh, the tongue still says the same, although it's kind of interestingly, or no, I think that's just a protective layer, but yeah. Uh, medial side, I'm not really sure too many differences. This being blue, that's the other major difference. And yeah, there you go. So yeah, that's this was just an absolute must cop. The pink laces, I don't know if they would work that well, to be honest with you. I do love the candy canning effect again on these, which speaking of which, oh, actually they have red candy canning on these as opposed to the blue on these. So really like that. I think I'm just gonna leave those as is. This is just an absolutely, absolutely monster of a beautiful shoe. Now, to continue this theme of uh, this new era of Pada with Nike, then you come to the other part of the pack, which was not as popular, uh, but in my opinion, very necessary to complete this. In addition to the fact that this is maybe one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. And I do have the OG Retro with the metallic red swoosh. This being different in that it has a metallic blue swoosh. Well, you can see obviously the similarities amongst this entire pack, essentially, is that uh, this 
as you know the metallic blue shimmy shimmy mesh here and then all those classic colors plus the para uh, logo there all the classic uh, color combos and, and blockings that you saw on either of these two air max models extended into the uh, the zoom spiridon model again red candy caning here still the same city blocking uh, and then the outsole, just a gorgeous, gorgeous use of this um, uh, Zoom Air outsole. Just beautiful blue pods. Honestly, one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. And I got them in a half size too small because that's just the options I had at the time. But uh, for these, I made sure to get my true size. So I can't wait to wear these because these are just absolute fire. Um, and uh, just to round it out... It definitely bears discussing that he did collaborate on, interestingly, a, uh, what's the name of this model, actually, I forget. It's a one-off model. It's an Air Max, Air Maxim, come on, Air Maxim 1 Plus. Uh, so kind of similar to an Air Max 1, but slightly different. Uh, it's like, a, almost like a knockoff, not a knockoff version, but like a, a takedown version of the classic Air Max 1. But again, just had to get it as part of the collection. You see that classic speckling like you would see um, what started it all with Nike, the, um, the speckling on the Amsterdam pair. You get the same uh, red and blue, slightly different shades of uh, red, but itty what it Same goes for the outsole. Again, not as colorful as the other classics, but itty what it Love this piping, the uh, red and blue here, just absolutely gorgeous. A little bit less quality uh, materials here, but still a nice touch with that subtle black embossment. A nice trim of laces here. It did come with an extra pair with the uh, red and uh, blue tips, but I honestly prefer this look, so I'm going to keep it as is. Loners, I can relate. Another reason I love Pada, uh, the outsole, you see a, a hand in there. Or maybe it's a thumbs up. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Yeah, you see that? It's kind of like a thumbs up, I think. Um, and I forget what year this came out. But it's kind of a lesser known model, so I don't think uh, people are as, as interested in the history of this model. And then to kind of close it out, as part of the Converse Red uh, campaign, apparently, which I was not aware of, uh, but this being a pair of the um, CT Para Red Highs. And these were Chuck Taylors, so here, just a beautiful, very different look for uh, Para's typical art artwork. But you see this uh, beautiful cherry butt, if you will, um, or maybe it's the front, who knows? Will we ever know? Who knows? But he's a very provocative uh, artist. Something I really like about him and very con uh, connect with him heavily. Since, uh, you know, I, I really am not bothered with like very raunchy topics, especially given my job description. Uh, nothing is off limits as far as discussions in my book. Uh, you see the PAR logo with the Converse uh, ish there. Converse logo there. Lovely, lovely looking shoe. All star. And then the. Uh, Converse Red campaign on the outsole there. A little bit different, obviously, than the classics that we've been discussing here, but it is what it is. So, yeah, there you go. And last but not least, it bears discussing with this whole pack, the sweatsuit that came with it. So you get the pants with Para logo here, Nike logo here. Love this white with gray, man. And I am going to be so mad when this finally gets dirty, but especially in this city, am I right? Um, but, uh, but, yeah, again, that owed back to this... Uh, Air Max 1 original box, and then I don't think there was much else to this. Love the tapered leg. Obviously, that's a great touch. And then uh, the more popping of the colors comes on the actual uh, jacket. You see the PAR logo there, Nike logo there. The same similar pattern you saw with the shoes. And then on the back, again, more of the same. And I don't really know what the point of this bag zipper is, but it is what it is. Again, the clouds, just a beautifully, beautifully executed uh, pack if you will. Um, not much else to the label, I would think. Yep, I got this in a size large. And yeah, man, I'm just very super happy to have completed the pack, essentially, and kind of go through the history of this uh, lovely artist's work with Nike slash Converse with you. Well, let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you on the next one. We out. Peace.